so basically when you, when you look at the state of innovation in Europe, uh, I think there are three fundamental trends that you need to be aware of, or these are sort of three fundamental facts of how innovation has been evolving over the last few years, and uh, I would say that those three are. The first is that uh, talent is being concentrated in very tight and small clusters, and this is very atypical and unexpected. We thought the digital economy would distribute talent geographically and people would simply connect to processes of different types, but the truth of the matter is that actually there's something about knowledge, particularly this form tacit knowledge that doesn't travel very well. So we're, we're seeing these very tight clusters emerge in places like Boston or Silicon Valley or Hong Kong or Singapore or others around particular areas of knowledge. Now, the second development that I think is significant is that we're also seeing a concentration of productivity growth in very particular companies, what the OECD calls frontier firms. And productivity over the last uh, 10 years has really skyrocketed in those firms, but has stalled in every other firm within the market. So a few firms have become highly competitive and more so over time, and others are just simply falling behind in terms of growth. The third fact that I think is significant is the geographic distribution of those companies and of innovation. So we can see that China and the US concentrate almost all of the startups that we could term unicorns that have a, a value of more than a billion dollars uh, today, mostly again in China and in the US. So there are big gaps around the world, there are a few in Europe. So what this depicts is a world of concentrated talent, concentrated productivity growth, and a, an empty hinterland with these very particular clusters of startups and innovators. And this poses, I think, major challenges challenges to Europe fundamentally I would say two one is we need to attract these firms if we want to have high quality and numerous jobs in the future and we need to attract these companies if we want to have fiscal traction and be able to fund public services moving forward and sustain our social contract so if I was a policymaker and this is my final message and it has been uh, in the session uh, today it would be we need to focus our economic policy on developing these frontier firms providing them with the talent providing them with the frameworks and the capacity to grow and do well and innovate and bring wealth jobs and tax revenue uh, to Europe and if we don't do this uh, I think we're going to face a major challenge of employment and public service funding. Thank you.